Hello guys, it's been a while I know, but uh, I have my reasons. We'll get into that in another video. But today I'm going to show you something that I decided to do because I saw a video on it. And I don't know why I didn't think of doing this before. Um, you know those little cherry angiomas you get on your skin? These little red things, like that one and that one. Come on camera, you can focus a little better. There you go. But you know what I'm talking about. They're little red, they call them cherry angiomas, right? Well, um, I saw a video today that I thought, oh my God, why didn't I think of this? This is what the doctor did for my oldest son. He's now in his 40s, but when he was around 10, he had a big cherry angioma on his neck that would bleed because his shirts would rub it. So I take him to the doctor. He looks and goes, oh, no problem. That's easy. Gives him a shot to numb it, which was painful. And then he just burned it off with this little thing. And that was it. I was like, are you serious? Well, why I didn't think of this now, 30 years, 30 some years later, is beyond me. I don't know. Oh, well, anyway. Thankfully, I saw this video today. So I'm just going to show you how I got rid of a bunch of them on my arms and even on my breasts. I had some big ones on the top of my breasts. Um, I'll show you what I did. And here's what I did. I got a, a pin, a straight pin with a little head on it. And I heated it up. I washed it first with, uh, oh, well, let's get back to the start here. Okay. Where you're going to do it, or I'm not telling you to do this. I take that back. Where I did it was I cleaned the area with alcohol. There's alcohol on here. Clean it good. Then I clean the tip of the head of the nail, or the straight pin. Cleaned it real good. I've already cleaned it, but I'm just giving you an example of cleaning it. Real good with alcohol. Don't want any fuzz on there. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay. And then what I did with this was I heated it with a lighter, the tip of the the head of the, the straight pin. And you have it in the eraser to, to hold it because you can't hold that while it's hot. So I'm heating it up. It's getting red. Uh, it's starting to get red there. You can see. See that? Okay. Nice and hot. And you got to be kind of quick because this doesn't retain the heat fast. So there is ah there we go I just burned it and now it's going to leave a little scab I'm going to do it to the other one here we go get that nice and hot Yeah, see that? You can see it turn red there. Nice and hot there. Then I'm going to go to the other one right here. And you just tap it. You don't, don't dig it into your skin and burn yourself and cause problems. Like that one I didn't do, do very good. There we go. That one you can't even see. It's already gone. See that? Let me check why that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, it did. That one's gone too. Just a little scab like already on it. So look how quick that was, guys. <laughs> and I'm going to show you real quick. I did it on my arms as well. See these? These little ones. You can see them. And in fact, I did a ton over my arm. You can't even see them anymore. I had a bunch of these. My father had these, so I guess I inherited it. But I had a bunch of them. See the little tiny, tiny pinprick burn marks? They're gone. Let me see. The camera's getting ready to die. I can't believe it. And here's another one on my arm. 
and I'll show you this one. Here's some more that I just quick little burn. And what it is is you're cauterizing the veins. That's what causes those, a little cluster of veins. That one got cauterized, see? So now those will just scab and heal. And I'll show you real quick if my camera doesn't die first. Oh, let's see. <laughs> I have to show you a little bit. The top of my breast, but who cares? I'm a woman. We have breasts. So here, let's see. I'm going to get this if I can here. Right there. You see those? Those were big. I hated those. I hated them. See that? That one, those, right, the two there were real big. Well, I just burned those off, and they were, they stuck out from the skin quite a bit. And I really hated that. But you can see I got all the little ones, too, all the way up my neck that I had. And what will happen is they will do nothing but scab. So guys, just wanted to show you that real quick. I'm not showing myself today because I'm kind of a mess today and I don't care. <laughs> but I wanted to show you real quick. I got a new baby to, re not replace, that sounds terrible. But I got a new baby after my precious Capone had died. I finally found one, a little dog. Pixie, Pixie, say hi baby. Oh yeah, she's on her sheet. I always have a sheet so they don't get fur all over the, or a blanket all over the furniture. But anyway, guys, I will talk to you later.